Okay, y'all, I'm back out here. The sun is out here. It's still hot, but I'm going to start cleaning up a little bit because the sun is going down. So, this is more or less the before. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and start cleaning up. Then I'm going to come back and we'll plant a few, and then I'm going to get out from out here. It's, it's better. It's not that hot now. The sun is still out, though. Okay, remember I told y'all that uh, this was used to be a rock garden. I used to have a rock garden, but when, they, when you dig down, the rocks start popping up, so I'm raking them up out of the <clears throat> of the dirt. So they're all along, they're all under the grass up by the house. So I'm just gonna rake them, and then now I'm gonna go ahead and start planting the rest of the uh, baroque. The sun is just about to cool down out here now. So I can go ahead and start. I've got so I did a little bit of a cleanup. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant. As you can see, <clears throat> my rope has a lot of small roots all wrapped around that dirt. So I'm gonna loosen that up before I put it in the ground. A couple of these holes I forgot to have Corinne go back and redig because they were um that's when we first started out, before we started, discovered that we could use the uh, pickaxe. Okay, there we go right there. We're going to pan the camera right on that one. That's going to be one of the challenge ones. I think these two right here are the only two that still. I'm going to sit right here in my chair. This is water I had left out here earlier. I'll pour it on them before I get into it. <coughs> Oh, I'm talking to y'all like I'm in the house, Lord, I'm outside, my voice is carrying, I'm sheer through in the wind, but what I was saying was, I'm going to go ahead and plant this one here, well, this one here, I'm going to go ahead and plant it, after I take some of the, that root off of the bottom there, and I got to dig that hole a little bit deeper, because it's just not quite deep enough. <clears throat> But all I do is just take my little, I got all kind of little shells and so forth. And y'all wouldn't know I got all these gardening too, just like I got pots and pans in the house. Like I said before, gardening is one of my passions as well as cooking and decorating. <clears throat> hope y'all can hear me. I hope the wind isn't taking my voice away. But this is just one of those things I've always loved, loved, loved to do. So let me go ahead and get started with, uh, I got me a little chair to sit on over here. It's my little chair. It's my little garden chair. Y'all don't need to see me. I, got, I look like Farmer, Mrs. Farmer Joe here today. But anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this. Oh, let me get my gloves also. I'm coming, I'm coming. I did not realize there were so many uh, rocks left in my yard. And I've also got this bottle here filled with centronella oil and water and this you know this keeps the bugs off of me I don't have to worry, worry about uh, bugs getting all over so I just spray it all over myself and the bugs stay away Whew, that's good to me that's funny. When I, and you know what they always do is they eat my feet up just like something going mad so I'm going to put my little gloves on here and go ahead all my little, I'll show y'all all my gardening tools that I'm using for this. I want y'all to know y'all, I, I want y'all to know that I am not doing any real heavy work. Not at all. So when you look at this video, like I said, for those of you who don't know, Kareem is my grandchild. He's 22 tall, brown, and handsome. 
and uh, he dug all my holes for me, thank God. That was just a blessing. Kill me now. Okay. So, what I have to do for this particular plant here is get, um, oh, there it is. That's my little gardening shovel. And I'm just gonna take it and hopefully you all can see. Yeah, okay. So, I'm just gonna take it and just loosen that dirt and those, there's a lot, see these, these um, type of plants have lots of roots there and they grow deep into the ground. So I always loosen mine up so they can have room to spread. Now, like I said before, this is one of the holes that we were having a real hard time with. And it's because those rocks are down there. So I'm going to get in there because one that I'm so free and just keep right on moving with digging. I'm just going to go back in there and get that one. See, it's loaded with rocks in here. It's loaded. That's why I had to rake those rocks out. So. This matter, you know, when you're digging and doing stuff like that, and it was real hot when we were out here earlier, too. So we hurry up and build the whole hunt, and I wanted to keep the ring going. Hey, let, me tell, let me just say this. When you're outside doing something, I know when you're outside eating, the flies come from nowhere, and you never invite them, but they're always here. I want you to know these rocks have started swarming around here where I'm trying to do my garden. Now, what do they want while I'm digging this uh, plant flower? Who, who, who invited? I didn't, they, they haven't dug a hole. They haven't moved a rock or filled a hole. They, they just keep just clamoring around me. I don't know what that's about, man. They got to go. When I looked out the door, I had my, uh, my gardening shoes <laughs> outside the door. And that was one or two of them weren't just sitting there on my little shoes. And I'm trying to figure out why y'all sitting there. What do I want? You know what? I hope my neighbor going to come out here and hear me talking to myself. Well, I'm not talking to myself because I'm talking to you all. I'm talking to my YouTube family. Yep. My neighbor daughter, Cynthia, she might come to the door and think I'm just losing it. But you see, the ground is much softer now that um, you get those rocks out of there. And it's a lot easier to get. I think there's probably about three or four inches of rocks in here. Because like I said, when I had that rock garden, y'all know I had the most rocks over here. It was really pretty. A friend of mine had that rock garden. And she said, hey, why don't you do a rock garden? I was so nice. And when I first moved in here, I thought, well, yeah. Because I didn't too much care for mulch. So I messed around and did a rock garden. And I don't know what she did to hers that was so special. But she didn't have a lot of uh, rocks, I mean, uh, weeds growing in hers. But mine just started with the weeds. And I was working at the time. And I thought, now, you know what? I can do this gardening and taking care of watering. But honey, the weeds just start getting just unbelievable. So I had to let the rock garden go and I just let the grass I just let the grass just grow on through, you know, I stopped trying with it. So now we got all these rocks on this part here under. So I'm just gonna do this one. And for you old gardeners, if you got some new tricks for me, let me know of the new gardeners. I hope you learn something. You know, gardening is it's a nice um, to me it's relaxing. And when I used to work, it was a real stress outlet. You know, if I work all day, talking to people all day, because I told you I did, I was, a, I was an HR manager, and I had to do talk, talk to people all day long. Sometimes, wasn't necessarily always, everything wasn't always hunky-dory. Not that the thing was mean and nasty, but when people have issues, you know, kind of weighs on you. Some days when I got home, I needed some relief. And this is what I used to come home and do all these trees in the yard. And that was just my thing to get out here and do. You see how deep these rocks are? See that? I wasn't kidding about these rocks. I mean, they are out here in full force. I was thinking I might let the kids come and, and uh, 
pick them up, but I don't know. If that might be a little too, too much temptation for them not to throw them everywhere. I'm sorry about my scarf getting off. Okay, perfect. That one's ready. So that one's ready for the, uh, yeah. Yeah, that one's ready to be planted. Now I gotta get some of these rocks out of here, though. I don't want all these rocks down in there. Because what needs to happen, um, the roots need to be able to run in the ground and take root and grow. Okay. That's why I kept telling Cream, go save my dirt, save my dirt, put my dirt in the pile because I, I need this dirt to uh, backfill these holes. Okay. I won't get every last one out, but I'll get most of them out. So what are y'all doing? Have y'all cooked dinner? Well, y'all out here messing around me in this yard. Well, I don't know, uh, Kareem. I'm not cook. I'm not doing a lot of cooking this week. I think I, I did. Um, have I even cooked this week so far? Today is Wednesday. I might cook. I thought about doing steaks this afternoon when I get in, but depending on how hot and sweaty I am, because a salad is good for me. I love a good old salad. And Kareem. I got pizza that I can put in the fridge, I'm in the oven, or uh, something simple like that. We uh, understand, honey, and you know what? I have to, I've learned now how to divide up my energy so that I can, so for the most part, this one is planted, and that's how you plant a, that's how you plant your little plants and shrubs and stuff, so if you ever want to know how difficult it is, the most difficult thing about planting something like this, or any tree or shrub, is getting the hole dug. Uh, after that, it's just, you know, putting it in there and getting the dirt back on it. So it's not very hard. Sometimes it can be a heavy work. Sometimes it can be tedious work. Because if, if your yard is like mine, full of uh, centipede grass or roots or rocks like I had to dig through for most of these holes, or like Kareem had to dig through for most of these holes, that's the biggest thing about planting is uh, rocks, roots, or just, you know, just you know, centipede grass. So that is done and I got about, let's see, I planted three. So that means I got nine more to plant. So I'm not gonna uh, make y'all watch the paint dry. I'm just gonna go ahead and plant the rest and I will show y'all what it looks like after I'm done. So hope y'all got a good little lesson about how to dig a hole, how to plant. And uh, y'all know me, as you go, please pick up and clean up. So when you get out here and sweat and get hot, if you got uh, grass stuff, I wouldn't, off camera, I wouldn't pick up all that debris got it in a bag and it's gone so now all i got to do is sit here and plant pick up my tools and i'm going in the house get me a hot bath and all that good stuff later so i'll be back with y'all as soon as i get all this stuff planted meanwhile uh be thinking about what you're going to do for dinner because i think i got mine down pat a nice salad more than likely so uh basically thank y'all for tuning in love you guys continue to pray without ceasing we can't never go a time without talking about prayer because it's so important and as you know things are still going round and round and upside down in the world so uh, I think a specific prayer uh, that would be fitting for these time and I'm sure we've already been praying but we're just going to do it uh, more fervently is pray that uh, the scientists and the medical field will come up with a uh, some kind of vaccine or a cure for this coronavirus and for anything else that's out there that's a plague or whatever and that we and, and of course we are still praying for the families that lost loved ones in this uh racial unrest and we're just praying for an end to all of that so let's just get specific in our prayer and just pray specifically for a uh, coronavirus cure and a virus and, and, and a vaccine rather to help it you know just to prevent it so with that I am going to complete what I'm doing as far as um, 
planting and I'm gonna let y'all see when I get everything planted so hang on okay y'all I'm back I'm gonna show y'all how to break these canas up right quick and how to plant just one I already took it out of a pot, so it's like this now. So what I do to break mine up, I just go down through there. You know what? I told y'all a while ago, these flies came to the party, did nobody invite them? I don't know what they after me, I guess. But they don't have any food out here. <laughs> so, you sort of break them up like that. And I think I probably got five or six plants here. Which will make me real, real happy. Because the more plants I got, the more places I can put them. <laughs> and these are real tough plants as well, so you gotta get in there. And get this one from there. These plants like this with all these roots there are I'm just selling Cynthia. They have a very strong foundation. That's why they're so resilient. These are tough plants. They got to have that good strong foundation to survive in this world. Hmm. Oh, and I, the Lord sent me some help too, because Cynthia came over here and helped me uh, finish planting. So, my neighbor daughter is over here. Yes, yes, yes. You know what? I want this dirt. So, anyway. I really should have got me on for 1059 to do this, but see if I get it. Let's see. I mean, see, I don't want to break it. I don't want to mess up anything. Okay. See, I'm getting to the roots now. Get to the roots. Oh, okay. Let's see. Cynthia, you can, like, when you water them, put just let it. Soak them, uh, yeah, soak okay. them real good. Okay. And I, I've been praying for rain. I guess, I, guess yeah. I just need to get these Me in too. the ground first. So I'm hopeful. Okay. Oh, this is going to be good. Yeah, 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 this is going to be good. And this is the longest hose I've seen in my life. Huh? This hose, this is the longest hose I've ever seen. You know I had about it. Of course. <laughs> and every time I take it out, I just think, why do you do this thing? Oh, half a day to fold. Yeah, this is going to be good. 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 And uh, uh -huh. got ready to use it. A few girl, that thing had dry rotted. Dry, yes, that's what I my dry rotted too. I had to get another one. Mm -hmm. My husband bought me that thing a long time ago. I guess it was time for a new. Okay, y'all. Here is one. Okay, that's at least one big one. What's it gonna be like? Three big ones, maybe. So I know that's an individual plant there, because those there at the bottom they're joined together. So let's see if this one breaks up. And I'm sure I can break them down further. I'm not going to break them down all that much, but let's see what we got going on here. Yeah, this is one right here too, because this is breaking off. Itself. Okay. Okay, so that's one, two, that's three. And I want two nice ones here in the front, so I'm gonna actually probably leave that one like it is. And this one has already blossomed, as you can see. And this just about died because it's just been sitting out for the sun has gotten for that one, of course. Oh, okay. So there's going to be some new blossoms or blooms or whatever you want to call them. So these are... Okay. So one, this big one here is going to go in this hole right over here. Whew. 
Y'all. You got first my whole first level. One down. I'm gonna put a little bit more dirt on top of that. The other one's way on the other side. But that's the gist of it. I got one more to plant. So it's gonna be, it'll grow tall. It'll grow right in front of my window, but that's okay. You get an idea of what it's gonna sort of look like sitting over there. Okay. So that's how you plant a cana. That goes when I help y'all. That's my neighbor daughter. She done helped me get this yard together. I got everything picked up, everything planted that I'm going to plant this evening. As you can see, it is getting dark out here a little bit, sort of overcast. So I'm going to get ready to get my little old self in the house, get me a good hot shower, and figure out what I'm going to have for dinner. Let's get a little bit of a close-up. That's some of those rocks that I rake up. I think I'm going to let the kids come pick the rocks up. They'll get a kick out of that. So I've got this area planted. And I'm going to keep working. And i got other stuff to install. But for right now, that's that's the uh, foundation for this. So I don't know if I'm going to have it graded out and put... Um, I don't know if I want to put, uh, what do you call it, mulch in there. Mulch to me is just messy. Or if I'm just going to uh, get the grass fixed in there and just just let it be a grassy area. But there's going to be a lot of planting in there, so it probably won't even matter. So, I am done for the evening with my planting. Go put the rest of my tools up. Got both of my canes in. Let me see if y'all can see. Can tell how I got those planted in. And there's another pile of rocks right there. I got to get those out. So I've watered everything. So gonna get ready to get in the house, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going in to find me something. Get me a shower. Then I'm gonna find me something light to eat. I don't know if I'll be recording that or not because it's probably just gonna be a sandwich, y'all. Okay, thank y'all for tuning in. Continue to pray without ceasing. Uh, keep each other encouraged. Uh, stand in the gap for one another. And just pray without ceasing. Continue to re uh, resolve those, uh, reconcile those differences that you may have with your family members, friends, whomever. Continue to pray for the things that are going on specifically. Uh, to pray for those things that are going on in the world um all the unrest and of course the virus and all we're going to continue to pray for it that uh we'll survive it and like i said earlier you know we specifically plan praying for a um a vaccine or a cure and lord have mercy for those families who are still suffering and grieving from those family members who have passed on as a result of the virus and of the unrest so we just ask all those blessings in Jesus' name, and we're just going to continue to pray without ceasing for all things. And again, thank y'all for tuning in. Love you guys. And until I decide to record again, I'm going to say toodles. But before I go, look, it's anthill time. I just want y'all to see these little creatures. Look at them. Can you believe now? Uh, last week, that little mountain wasn't there, but that little mountain of sand is there. And you know what it is? Because they all get along. They get along so well. They build and they build. And I hate to pour the little anthill killer stuff on them. My babies come out here and they will eat my little baby's legs up if I don't pour the little anthill stuff on So hopefully uh, they'll find another little home. So anyway, guys, love you. Thank y'all for tuning in. Keep those prayers going up now so the blessings will continue to come down. Toodaloo.